Much. Now, those affected the most by the chemical spill rushed to the hospital. ABC 4's Rosie Nguyen joins us now live in Murray. So, Rosie, what are doctors saying about the effects of this chemical on the body? Don Emily, nurses say small exposure to sulfur dioxide should not lead to any long-term effects. They say eight patients were admitted to Intermountain Medical Center earlier this morning, and if all of their conditions remain stable, they should be released from the hospital later today. Burning eyes, uncontrollable coughing, irritation in the nose, all symptoms that patients who were admitted to Intermountain Medical Center experienced this morning. We were monitoring their uh, vision, their respiratory drive, making sure they're not having any issues with that. <laughs> ABC 4's morning reporter Jason Wynn experienced similar symptoms after covering the chemical spill and being downwind from the scene. <coughs> Jason tells us he was one of six patients who went to urgent care for treatment. Nurses at Intermountain Medical Center say in small doses, sulfur dioxide shouldn't cause any long-term effects. The number one treatment for a lot of these patients is just fresh air. Getting them out of the zone and allowing them to breathe in some nice fresh air will help them in the long term. This hazmat spill is the second that led to an evacuation in the last two days following Tuesday's chemical spill at the University of Utah. Larson says they're prepared in the case that a spill turns into a mass casualty practicing several times a year. We do have a full hazmat capability here in the shower so we can decontaminate patients covered in all sorts of substances. Now, officials say approximately 50 other people were exposed to that chemical spill, but were treated on scene and then released. Larson says those who were transported or self-transported themselves to the hospital did the right thing because it's just better to be safe than sorry. Reporting live in Murray, Rosie Nguyen, ABC4 News.